the aqueduct is actually the cerebral aqueduct and it's it goes from the third ventricle it connects the third ventricle and the fourth ventricle it's this one that's this is the cerebral aqueduct runs down here the inferior colliculus for this is the sagittal view this is the inferior colliculus so there's the the cerebral aqueduct above it is the inferior colliculus and above that is the superior colliculus and if you look if you put the two brains the two halves of the brain together and you look down you can see those four it looks like four bumps the top two are the superior colliculus and the bottom two are the inferior colliculus the pineal gland is this so there's a the muscle intermediate again look for the muscle intermedia next behind that this little oblong shape is the pineal gland and somebody said that if you need a marker for it, it looks like a P mm -hmm. and can you point it it's one more time? this area this round okay. the posterior commissure is um, so there's the muscle intermedia there's a white portion whitish portion posterior to the muscle intermedia and that's the posterior commissure it's this tiny area right here. And basically a commissure is like, it, it connects, it also helps connect the two hemispheres together. So there's one whole um, piece of uh, tissue. The anterior commissure is in front or anterior to the muscle and the media. So it's this one, this area. And if you look at other brains, it's slightly, slightly whiter than the surrounding tissue. The cerebral Penuncle is this area, and that's if you notice the oculomotor nerve or cranial nerve number three comes out of it. So there's a the cerebral penuncle. Subdural space, it, it's you can't really see it on the brain. Um, subdural below the dura mater, subarachnoid underneath between the arachnoid and underneath the uh, above the pia mater. Gray matter is basically the outer covering of the brain. If you want to look at half of a brain, this is actually gray matter. You can tell the color difference, white, white matter, grayish, gray matter. And choroid plexus can be located inside the ventricles. It's this, this um, dark brownish colored thing and so it's located in all, in all the ventricles and it produces cerebrospinal fluid. The thalamus, there's no clear distinction you know, anatomy, um, anatomically. Massa intermedia again, below that is the thalamus, below that is the hypothalamus, below thalamus. So massa intermedia, thalamus, hypothalamus. And that's it. Cool. That so wait, so awesome. 